morning, YouTube family. Okay, the day has finally come where I get to start actually restoring the bathtub. So I spent a lot of time sanding and scrubbing and prepping and doing the Klein's tub prep kit, which will show you which one that I used for that. I did that one in a previous video. And I think that for the most part, other than maybe one more good wipe out, I'm ready to start applying my epoxy paint. So I'm using the same type the same brand of a tub kit that I use for the prep. You could buy them separately, but it's supposed to be, you know, step one and step two. And so I'm using Clank's epoxy enamel kit. I'll put this like better on the screen for you in case you want to do it yourself. It explains everything, but it's a two part epoxy, tough, high gloss finish, water and abrasive resistant. It's for tubs, sinks, toilets, ceramic tiles, and appliances. I chose white, of course, I would like to have a white tub. I'm going to do the top like inside part, I think first. I still can't make up my mind on what I wanna do with the bottom part that you see that's beige. But what I need to do is I have a part A and a part B. And it says in the box to read the pamphlet meticulously before you start. And I'm glad that I did because I need to mix parts A and B separately, make sure that the mixtures are super mixed inside. And then I'm going to join them together. And what that's gonna do is it's going to obviously mix the two parts together and activate whatever this needs to do. And then I need to wait an hour before I can actually paint with it. Okay, it's just white and it's about half a can. So obviously part B goes into there. We mix this separately, it says. Part B is clear, looks like polyurethane or something. I'm gonna mix it. Already looked pretty mixed, but we're doing it anyway. And I get to put part B into part A. It's much more watery than I thought that it would feel. Right, now we wait for an hour. After 300 hours of trying to sand this tub using two different types of strippers, none of which pulled anything off, Elisha's elbow grease, she, the tub is now ready to be painted. We're gonna use the TSP that came with the Clank's tub prep kit and just do one last swish over with the TSP. I just wanna make sure there's no debris in here at all. The time clock has been ticking for my parts A and part B that I've put together and mixed. And we're at the stage where we're just going to wash this one last time, let it dry, and then we get to put on our first coat of paint. Which from what I read from the directions is going to be the thinnest coat of paint possible. <laughs> so we're going to put some DSP in this warm water, mix it up, and I'm just going to rinse the tub out. These kits actually came with everything that we need for this, so that was kind of convenient. I don't really think it needs much because I've wiped it out so many times, but just don't want there to be any crumbs from anything or any residue from anything before I put this paint on. I'm glad I didn't calculate how many hours I spent trying to see this <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. I don't even want to see what the number would have been. Okay, we have our epoxy A and B together. I've had it closed up. I'm going to open it back up. I'm not going to pour it into a tray because I did read online that a lot of people had the most success using a brush rather than a roller. When they used a roller in the tray, they lost a substantial amount of the epoxy. So I'm going to try to just make sure this is mixed really well and then use my brush. So it's been sitting for the hour that the instruction said it needed to be mixed together and then sat for. So I saw that it looked like it separated a little bit in the time that I was waiting for that. It's, it's thin like milk. It's not thick at all. It doesn't feel like paint. It feels like water. Okay, a little thicker than water, about as thick as milk, so we'll see. It says it's a very thin coat, and then you let it dry for two to three hours, so that's what I'm gonna do. And it says, once you put it on, like, it dries pretty quickly tacky, so not to go back and forth once it starts to get tacky. Okay. I'm going to try to listen to the directions. Okay, so I'm going to go up on this side and then just so I can blend this while it's still wet before it gets tacky, right?
It smells so good. <laughs> That's not okay, Philip. Oh That's gosh. not okay. <laughs> it smells like a very strong magic marker. Holy. Holy. Well ventilated room. Okay, I should put the mask on. I did, it didn't smell downstairs, so I was mixing it, so I didn't even think. YouTube family. Alright, first time doing this. Guess we're gonna find out what happens. This bathtub, I tell ya. Like, it's a slight white haze over it, but there's no way that's covering, right? Like, there's no way that's gonna cover the dark spots. Never. Or if it was all totally stripped, you wouldn't see any white at all. Never. Unless it dries white. Like, yeah, like, I... <laughs> it's concerning. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time you put into this. You just can't keep getting hit with an L. You're persistent, and I'll give you that. When have you ever seen me give up on something, even if it was not giving up, I'm not giving up. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, okay, I can put this in here just to like, get to that spot. It's just easier. I'm gonna meet up where I was at. Earth. And this says it's supposed to be like 66 square feet. I call baloney on that one. Cause there's no way this tub is gonna get Honey, I don't know. Stop, stop! <laughs> it's like you're painting clear over. I feel top. like I'm using really watered down Mod Podge. Because it's so thin, it's just like milk. Cool, all it's doing is giving me funny feeling. <laughs> I'm not discouraged, I'm not discouraged, I'm not discouraged. I am, and I'm not stop. doing it. Stop, stop. <laughs> This is what it looks like with one coat. Oh, you two family, I don't know. It doesn't make me feel like I did anything. It's so thin. It doesn't cover anything at all. It doesn't look like paint, like at all. Tell me this hardens really hard white. And then when I come back in two or three hours, it will look more white. Okay, see you in two or three hours. Okay, we need a different tub paint. That's more for like tile and exterior, not really for where you're actually gonna have water sitting to do the outside of the bathtub. So I'm just gonna put my first coat on. My legs are only, only two of my legs are attached. That one and then this far left corner here. My other two are very loosely propped underneath because I'm gonna to have to take them all off anyways. So that's why this one leg looks pretty sunken in. Once we get it painted, Philip and I can take the legs off and then I'll be able to make my legs gold. I think with painting this tub, the, the kind of key here is that I do layers. Thin layers, give it a light sand. Thin layers, do a light sand. And keep working my way around. That will be, that way it will be as durable as possible. I think it looks good. It's really smelly, right? Not really. I, I don't mind the smell that much. Honestly. Chase, that's not a good thing. No, I know. It's okay. It's, it's not the worst. No, it doesn't have to smell bad, but it's very chemically. It's definitely oh, yeah. not something you want to be smelling all the time. Yeah, no. But, and then what do you think, gold feet? Yeah. And then... Actually, it doesn't really feel that tacky, and it's been about an hour, but I've got two hours of dry time to go. I actually didn't mind that like wheat tan color that was on the side, but I just want to make it look different than it already did rather than having it, you know, two toned. But okay, I've got an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes of drying. I hope there's hope.
Okay, so right now I have two coats on the lower base. I think I'm gonna definitely need a third, maybe even a fourth coat, and then I'll be able to put a clear coat on that. And <laughs> I'm about, I don't know, maybe 12 hours away from finishing the inside of the tub. I've got it with the second coat on. It's a couple hours dry. You can see I still have some sections here that look a little bit darker than I want them to be, but that's okay. I have some paint left. And because I still have about a third of the container, I think one more coat should do it pretty good actually. And then I'll kind of have to go from there, but I think I've got a lot of drying time ahead of me before I should do that last coat. Currently overall, I think it looks a lot better than it already did, but I'm definitely not at the end zone yet. I wanna show you what I plan to do with the faucet, which again, I'm not gonna tackle today because I think that it's best for me just to wait for this to totally dry, get the tub finished before I get too ahead of myself. We've got quite a mess going on here, but this is the faucet that I'm gonna be using for the bathroom bathtub here. I absolutely love how it has the white handles. So what I'm gonna do is remove those, and I'm gonna make this whole thing gold, and then just leave the white enamel looking knobs on it that say hot and cold. I think that's gonna look so good. And the end of it, this end, is actually broken. So I'm going to take it off here, I can just spin that off and I have a new extension that's gonna go on it and I'll show you the one that I got. So this is the antique brass handle that I got and it has the actual white on it here just like the knobs on the faucet. So I think that's gonna be really nice. So we have a handheld in the bathtub and we're gonna have the gold faucets and the gold feet and the fresh white tub. I think it's gonna look as much like my inspiration picture as possible. The only difference I think is going to be is that the faucet on my inspiration come from the middle of the tub and into it, where mine's gonna come from the end over here into it, which I'm totally okay with that. I'm gonna use, obviously, the holes that are already here in my tub. I'm not going to redirect that and have to try to fill that in some way. I'm okay with doing it this way. YouTube family, I'm not giving up hope with this tub. I think I've gotten quite a bit of progress done, but I just don't feel totally confident that this is gonna be completely covered with another coat. It just goes on so thin. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a third coat or even a fourth coat, but I know when I get to as many coats as it needs, it's gonna be gorgeous, but there's just only so many hours in a day when you have to wait two to three hours in between each coat to dry. But this is what I'm at so far. It's pretty tacky still, like to the touch, it's a little sticky, just based on what was already underneath the tub and what wasn't, because you can really see obviously where more of the blue look was coming through. So we're gonna see what happens in the next 24 hours here. I knew that this tub was gonna be a lot of work. I knew it was gonna be a lot of hours to restore it. And I knew that if I just used the supplies that I got, that I can make this look a million times better than it already was. Will it be perfect in the end? Probably not. Will it be perfect enough for our bathroom and a bathtub that we'll barely ever use and for a bathtub that's probably approximately 100 years old? Absolutely. And so I'm determined to get this looking pretty good. If I have to get another tub kit to do some extra coats, I will. But again, I'm trying to spend as little money as possible doing this bathroom renovation, still restoring everything and being able to kind of make this our dream bathroom, even on a budget. So hopefully this shows you that you can do it yourself if you want, but just know how much time that you're going to have to put into if you're going to restore your own tub. But I live in the middle of nowhere and I'm determined to not have this sandblasted somewhere. And to be completely honest, we have a stand up shower in this bathroom. And now that my boys are not little guys anymore, we probably won't use the bathtub that often maybe once in a while. So I'm just not, you know, totally worried about how long this is going to last because I don't think this is going to be something that we're going to use daily. But boy, the coats that were already on there, they seem like they're on there. So I don't predict that it's going to do any peeling over time, but I want it to look white, white on the inside. I want to look, I really want it to look completely white and not have any of that color variation coming through. So I'm going to keep working at it gonna wait the two to three hours that it's asking me now to wait between this coat and the next, and then I'm gonna do another coat. And I'll update you tomorrow and see what it's gonna look like. My next step is to restore the faucets and get all that worked out so that we can redo the plumbing in the floor, which means that we can take down some plumbing in that pantry ceiling to be able to make new holes in the floor in this bathroom and then put the tub where it's going to actually go. It's not gonna go in that back corner. It's gonna go in front of this window here so I can overlook my garden, my greenhouse, and some animals out this window here. I think that's gonna be a much nicer view for us than against the wall. So I know that some of you don't agree with the placement on where I'm putting the tub. Just wait till the end result of the bathroom before you judge where I'm gonna put it because I have some plans for something that's gonna come from the ceiling above the tub and some aesthetic things that are gonna go in this bathroom and it's all gonna make sense in the end. So just hold tight with your opinions until you get to see the reveal. 
I'm also debating just because it's been in here for quite a while if I should paint the wood cabinet that I got for the vanity. I know we're not at doing the vanity portion of the bathroom yet, but let me know your thoughts on if I should leave it wood or if I should paint it. And if I should paint it, what should I paint it? I'll show you a picture of what that looked like in case you forget from the episodes, you know, past before now while we started the bathroom. But I'm not totally set on leaving it wood, but I'm not totally set on painting it. So I kind of want to know your thoughts. I know that it's an original cabinet and there's some like no paint original wood people out there, but I want this to look so nice in the bathroom. So I just kind of need your opinion on what I should do. Okay, before we end today's video, I know a lot of you have been sending me private messages asking me about the situation with my truck and what all happened with that. So let's head outside for just a quick second so I can explain everything to you and show you what I got. So as you know, a couple of months ago, I bought a blue truck. It was a blue GMC and I knew that it was a project truck, but I was sold the truck that it would be roadworthy. And after doing a bunch of work and a couple inspections that both failed, I ended up reaching out to the guy that I bought it from and just said, hey, you know, I haven't been able to get this on the road. Is there anything we can do about it? Because I had paid for the vehicle in cash and just with it as is, but that it would be able to get onto the road, which it did. And so luckily I was able to figure something out. I was able to do a trade for the vehicle for another vehicle, which worked out great. Cost me a little bit more money in the long run, but I think I'm ultimately gonna be that much more happy. I realized a few things having Lainey. One, not having a back seat and having the boys with their such big boys now being teenagers is that even just the three of us couldn't fit in the front seat really very well, even just going to school or back if that was the case. Or, you know, you go get groceries and you don't have anywhere to put anything when you put in the truck. And because our Toyota is back in the shop and we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with her yet, maybe never even coming back, we needed to have a vehicle. So we did have to put a little bit more with this, but I wanna show you what I got. I'm gonna make a few adjustment adjustments and definitely needs a wash and a few other things, but I wanna show you what I have for my new to me truck now. Okay, so this is my new truck. It is a Ford F-150 XLT and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's great. It does have a back rack and an amber light, which Philip's gonna take off for me because I don't really need that but she's in really good shape there is a back seat so I have full seats for the back for the boys the back of the box here is big enough for me to go pick up a big round bale of hay if I need to and we've driven her the past couple of days and she's driving great we have our license plates and she passed inspection with flying colors so I'm super excited to have a nice new truck there were some emblems from the company that had this vehicle before which we already picked up some vehicle goo gone to be able to get those off on a warmer day but since it's been so cold and it's obviously super snowy here. I haven't worried about doing any like exterior detailing. I did a quick swish out of the inside just to kind of like sanitize and everything, but she needs to have a little bit of a cleanup once we get everything kind of situated here for weather and some of this snow banks gone, but I'm excited about her. So I need a name for my new truck. I'm not gonna call my truck Laney 2.0 because as one of our YouTube family members mentioned, I named that truck Laney and basically cursed her into being a laneway vehicle because she never left the laneway so we're not gonna name this one laney but i need a name for my new truck so if you have any ideas for me then let me know okay thank you for being part of today's episode and thank you for always cheering me on i'm excited about the prospects that the tub's gonna turn out pretty good hopefully by tomorrow and then we'll get to move on to the next aspects of the bathroom which would be installing our vanity doing our flooring new toilet walls all the rest of the detailing i just want to get the messy stuff out of the way you know before we get into anything else okay i love you and i will see you on tomorrow tomorrow's episode.